Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a keyboard replacement on an Acer Aspire laptop. As you can see, this is my new keyboard and I'll be replacing the entire keyboard with a palm rest except the touchpad. So the original touchpad from the laptop will be transferred to this new keyboard. The reason why um, I'm not able to change out just the keyboard itself but rather to change the entire palm rest because the keyboard is not a separate component as you can see that the keyboard the way they make it is is being a punch down by the manufacturer all right so it's not a a screw that holds the keyboard it's a punch down uh, plastic that that holds the entire keyboard so when you replace, or if you have a bad bro broken keyboard, when you replace it, you would have to be entire piece just like this. All right, so let's begin and get started. So let me turn it around and try to show you the model number. So this one here is an Acer model number N17C2. Okay, if you want to look here, there might be a different model number here for you to refer. It's the A715-72G-79BH. Alright, so first thing you need to do is uh, just get a regular Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the back plate. So on this process here, uh, pretty much you are uh, going to transfer the entire motherboard right the touchpad the motherboard the cpu fan everything over to the uh, to the new uh, keyboard okay so what i'm doing right now is just to remove the hard drive And if you want to change the regular hard drive to a solid state drive, and this is how you're going to do that. Um, I don't think this computer here comes with an SSD. Um, yeah, so if you want a better speed, or if your hard drive is dead, and you need a replacement, uh, I recommend to go with a solid state drive. So far, it looks like all the screws are the same. And this one here is for you to increase the RAM or replace the RAM. As you can see, there are two slots. Um, one of the RAM is being used, and this is a DDR4. I believe it's an 8 gig. Um, if you want to increase to 16, you just add additional 8 gigs of RAM right here. I would try to have the description, um, the part in the description below. Example would be the solid state drive, or maybe the RAM, uh, where you can buy the keyboard, uh, maybe the LCD or the CPU fan, um, any parts that I can find online, either on eBay or Amazon. I'll have it on the description below. If you click on the description, the link, um, the, as an affiliate or partnership, as a referral, Amazon or eBay would give me a small commission. If you use the link that I provide, then um, it doesn't cost you additional to buy. It would just uh, as a kickback, Amazon or eBay would give me a small commission. Maybe a few cents to a dollar or so. So I would be appreciate if you click on the link 
and uh, get the parts through um, through me so all right uh, looks like I get all the screws taken out all right so the next step I'll be doing is to remove the back back cover What I'm trying to do is to find the weak spot. So usually you want to start from the corner and then work your way around it slowly. So this is a plastic prying tool and um, that way I do not scratch or damage the, uh, uh, the laptop. So make sure you're not sticking all the way in. You do not want to uh, damage the, you know, the motherboard or any component inside the laptop. So you just wanted to make sure you have enough uh, leverage to pry it open, but not to not to damage the the motherboard. So do not stick all the way in. Uh, just make sure you have enough to just pry it open. All right. So so far. Looking good. Looks like I get the uh, the back cover removed. So as you see, once you remove the back cover, you have the entire motherboard. The CPU fan obviously is very dirty. Um, this is not my laptop. Uh, this is someone else's laptop. I'm just helping to change out the keyboard, and yeah, and the same time maybe. Uh, you might want to consider cleaning out the fan at this moment okay uh, first thing I'll do is to remove the battery and again like I said we'll be transferring everything from here over to the new keyboard so the way they make it is um, you know they mount everything onto onto one piece which is not a good thing I don't like this type of build and especially the keyboard if you if you have like one key that is broken you would have to replace the entire keyboard and have to do all this motherboard transfer uh, and whatnot so so this is I would not recommend this this type of uh, design it just make things complicated Anyway, let's get going. So this is the CMOS battery. Uh, disconnect that. So what I've done so far is this is probably the lighting, uh, touchpad, keyboard, keyboard lighting. Okay, so what is this? This is probably the DC jack for your power. Okay, so to connect your power core, it goes down here. So go ahead and remove that as well. Okay, this one here is your speaker. All right, so what else do they have here? Okay, so this is your Wi-Fi. What I usually do is I'll make a label, some sort of marker here. So a blue one would be here. So I know that this white cable goes next to each other. The black one is just empty. Okay, so that's that. And we need to remove this cable as well. And this is your CPU fan. Same goes for here. Go 
let's remove the CPU fan. Alright, so um, for you to want to get a replacement, um, I probably would think maybe look it up like the serial number on this part, or maybe just Google um, Acer Aspire, you know, CPU fan replacement. Make sure that it looks like this. Okay, and of course, you can clean out your CPU fan by using the uh, Aiken duster, just blow it off. Alright, that was simple. Just remove the, the CPU fan and that should be it. And let's see. Okay, you gotta disconnect this cable as well. Okay, we have everything being disconnected. This is your um, LCD screen. Right, it just pull right out. Okay, it's not like push or anything. You 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 pull, it come right out. So this is like a Lego. You snap onto it. Okay, start removing the motherboard. Okay, there's only three screws, one here on the left, two is on the top right, and the third one is, is maybe it's only two, one and two. I don't think this is part of it, but anyway, this is how you remove it, remove your um, motherboard, okay? And for those of you who wants to do a motherboard replacement, just get the entire motherboard like this and you can go ahead and replace entirely. So the motherboard you might want to look for would be something like here, DH5VF, or maybe LA-F951P. Uh, that should bring you some sort of an idea on where to find the motherboard for a replacement. And the CPU, with the graphics card, it's all integrated with this heatsink. Um, if you want to replace that, just go ahead and remove the screw and the heatsink. Uh, you can replace it. Okay, let's put that on the side. So that should be it. And again, we need to, uh, you know, remove the cable. This is your Wi Fi cable. Okay because we will be removing the entire board so this this whole board has to go and here would be um, your DC jack this is where you plug in your adapter okay so it's kind of purple and the replacement part should be you can refer it right on this one um, yeah, just look it up on eBay or Amazon. Okay, so this is another board. Uh, this is your I/O for your USB, and and what do you call that? The the headphone as well, a microphone. So go ahead and remove this. Put this on the side. Okay, and this is your um, hard drive cable. And here comes your speaker, right? So we need to move the speaker as well. Uh, there's no screw that holds onto the speaker. They just have this little rubber. Okay, it's like a ring um, to reduce the vibration. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it on your speaker. The needy tidy 
way of doing it is you know you just got to make sure that um, the wiring it goes back to the right position um, yeah so here, here comes the speaker let's put that on the side okay um, like I said we need to transfer the touchpad so here's your touchpad let me see what else do I need to transfer this thing here touchpad goes there yep Okay, so the, the way to keep the touchpad comes out is it comes out from here. So you want to slide this one in first. Okay, and then you just go back on. So it come out on this direction. So let me put this on the side. And let me go ahead and remove this. There's no screw is a clip on as you can see the clipper is right here and this is your um, CMOS battery uh, there's no screw that holds on to it it just double sided tape okay and let me quickly remove the hinge that way we can just move in the new keyboard So yeah, so this process is not a simple process. Um, you need to have, you need to plan yourself some time to get this step by steps um, for this replacement. Alright, so here you go. This is the bad keyboard. Alright, let's put that on the side. And here's the new one. So let me slide it back in. Okay, and just quickly, you want to put that hinge back together so that you know where it goes where. There are three screws that, that goes onto the hinge. So if on the on the right on the right hinge right here, uh, there's a little X. You do not want to put the screw on this side. Okay. So let's move back here. Close this hinge. Same thing. There are three screws. So one at the bottom. One on the top. and then one on the side but not all the way to the top left okay so once I have the hinge in place let me go ahead and make sure I have this cable goes back onto this clipper okay there you go this is the CMOS so stick it back in uh, let me go ahead and put the touchpad right so 
just make sure whatever we can put in first we're just going to put it in now so that we do not forget three screws that goes on the top Okay, make sure the cable goes above the plastic. And there's one last here that goes right on the clicker. So let me go ahead and make sure I have this thing in place. Okay, um, so far so good, right? So we have this Wi-Fi, go back in here. They have this little pl um, plastic where you can peel it off so that uh, you can stick the cable back on, all right? Here's your keyboard the backlight and your keyboard so let's put this on the side okay so I think the next step I'll be doing is transfer the speaker back onto So again, this this rubber here is just to um, reduce the vibration on the speaker. There's no screw or anything that holds onto it. Uh, so when you put it on, make sure that you know you have them uh, in a nice position, so that you don't get this static noise or sound um, because the vibration hitting the plastic then you would have this static noise okay so just make sure you have them uh, have the uh, the rubber in the right position okay so the the wiring just go back and follow the the connection right here okay that's how you clip the the wire back onto Okay, so I have that in place. Let's move on to the next one here, which is the I.O. board. And this board, what is this for again? Uh, this is for the USB on the side. Okay, so there's one screw. It goes back to the top. Okay, and here's your DC jack connector, the adapter that powers on your laptop, so make sure you put the thing back on to here. I think I wanted to do next is to put the motherboard, okay. So make sure all the wire is above the motherboard. One, two, three, four. Okay.
sorry so this screw right here is actually not for the motherboard yeah so this one here is for your m.2 uh, slot if you want to buy an m.2 hard drive instead of using the regular hard drive the 2.5 inch laptop drive uh, this is where you're going to install your m.2 um, yeah just so you know you do not have to remove the screw what I did earlier is this screw right here so this screw is not for the motherboard that screw is actually for the m.2 um, to hold a motherboard there's only two screws okay one is right here on the left and the second one is on the top right okay so let me go ahead and connect the LCD cable which is this one push it all the way in oops you know what I missed out I missed the Wi-Fi cable so it looks like this Wi-Fi cable has to go underneath the motherboard and come out on the top here okay so I missed that part am I going to change it nope I am not going to do that um, just because I'm lazy <laughs> but it actually doesn't make a difference um, whether it's well as long as this you know uh, Wi-Fi is not touching the the heat sink I think the heat is it should be okay um, I'm just gonna go around here right the the RAM and connect back to the Wi-Fi um, I don't think it much make a difference but it's, it's, it's your call make sure that you do the right thing okay I do not want to uh, uh, do something here and later on is you know things that not work out for you but let me go ahead and connect this cable this one is for the hard drive okay and this one here goes here this is for your USB Uh, what else this one here is for your speaker goes back here this is your DC jack connector goes here okay uh, this one here is for your back lighting on your keyboard so it goes right here fold it, slide it in, and close it. For your touchpad, So if you're still watching the video, um, I really appreciate that you follow along. I know that this video is it's a long process. Um, I just want to make sure I have every single steps recorded nicely and explained throughout the video so that you can follow along properly and understand every single uh, steps and of course I do make mistakes like what I did on the uh, the Wi-Fi cable um, so I just want to point it out to you and you should not make that same mistake as I did okay so let's go ahead and connect this black cable back to the Wi-Fi which is this side of the which is the bottom of the cart okay and the white cable would go on top which is the above ok 
okay so I'm just gonna leave the cable as is I am going to connect the fan so put the fan back on together so just leave it in yep I did not clean the fan um, <laughs> Okay, so make sure you have the screws back onto your fan. So there are two screws on each fan, so four screws to total. And make sure you connect the cable. Okay, so that cable on your left side of the fan is this one here. Okay, make sure it's all the way in. The right side on the fan is this one here. Okay, once we have that, the next step is to put your battery back on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, two screws, do not forget. We are almost done. So let's connect the... Uh, battery okay the battery is connected tape this uh, what is next I think what I'll do is I will try to power on first make sure that we have everything works accordingly so I definitely you need to have the uh, um, the hard drive to boot on to boot into your operating system the OS. Okay, so just leave it as this. So this is not a complete process. Okay, I'm just telling you um, this is not a complete process. I'm just doing this um, to test it out before I put all the screws back onto. Um, to the laptop okay so let's see if the battery is dead no nope, it looks like I hear some noise I can see the keyboard like is on so do not freak out the laptop is going through the cycle uh, usually it comes on it powers off comes on powers off the reason why it go through the cycle because we remove the CMOS battery right by removing the CMOS battery your entire BIOS the time and the date would got reset and the settings on the motherboard would got reset so at this point the computer is just trying to turn it on and do its own cycles um, and eventually it would boot up and you get to your window screen okay so I think the computer is doing that at this moment and um, yeah so I just wanted to explain that to you and you're not getting freaked out okay so here as you can see the Acer screen is on and it is booting already Alright, so I have the screen that comes on and it boots to uh, the login screen. So what I'll do next is I'll turn it off. Alright, my touchpad is working which is good. Uh, let me go ahead and test out all the keys. Yep, everything looks good. So let me go ahead and turn off the uh, the computer and put all the screws back on so um, that's it this 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 is the step on how to do it so I hope that you follow along and find my video um, helpful 
so if, if this thing helps you to you know to help you change out the motherboard um, or the keyboard or the touchpad uh, I would be really appreciate if you like my video you know um, subscribe to the channel and um, just help me out to grow my uh, my YouTube channel so I uh, appreciate you for taking your time and and until next time I'll make more videos for you take care and see you again